content from Cambridge University Press is part of the journey of millions of students and thousands of teachers across the world and also in India. We look at this as a huge responsibility. What we want to do is to participate with educators, teachers and the learners to create these contents which keeps in center the skills of tomorrow, which keeps in center the how exactly the consumption could be better so that we can get the better outcome. So one day when we were sitting and planning for Jumpstart, what struck us was that something very vital was missing. We were talking about children, but we didn't actually know what children really thought and felt. A uh, lot of it was just based on assumptions about what we think children like. So that is how the idea of the survey um, came up. So Jumpstart, which started as a series of masterclasses in 2009, when it started to step from kindergarten into main school in its eighth year this year, the 2016 edition, we were wondering what is something that we've always had on spotlights and little corners around discussions, but something that we've not actively pursued as a discussion. And we realized that was about pedagogy and education. And that is how the theme of this year's Jumpstart came about, which our festival advisors beautifully named as Jumpstart Goes to School. Um, and while we were thinking and contemplating about how Jumpstart has always been an intervention and an inspiration forum for the entire publishing community, we also wanted to bring some more reader insight into it. We found a partner in Cambridge University Press where we put together a little questionnaire where we wanted to go back to our readers and find out what they think so that we can present it to the authors and the content creators at the forum to understand how the marriage of what is desired and what is available can happen. So at this year's Jumpstart, we're looking forward to much more interpolated, informed discussion with the inputs that we have here today. The initial finding of the survey is very encouraging. Initial results suggest 41% of children reading one to two books, and about 30% reads three to five books. 16% of the kids read more than five books outside of their education and curriculum references. Today with the teachers and the educators, we're raising the kids of 21st century. We're shaping up the minds of today by ensuring the content which is engaging. Some initial results show 68% of them have access to digital content on their personal gadgets. 28% are using their parents' device and there's a smaller set who do not access much of devices. Now, among other things, it's important to note these devices are also being used for education purposes. 48% of students looking at digital resources every week, another 31% who are using it every day. This insight emphasizes the fact that learning via books and digital content really complement each other and they go hand in hand pretty well. The most important thing to record is that the teachers and the parents remain to be the key influencer for this generation we are talking about. The kids of the 21st century learn in a very different way from what their parents used to learn. We're more interactive, more visual, and we do not just learn from text. And I personally struggled a lot with just text. I, 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 I learned through flowcharts and mind maps and pictorials, and I believe that's an amazing way to learn. And I think post 9th, more, a lot of students struggle with text because the schools expect us to so, learn so much text. And uh, these mind maps, the visuals, make it so much easier for us to learn. Hence, I really want books, upcoming books, to incorporate that, to incorporate visuals in books, to make it easier for students to learn and make it easier for them to have an interest in them. I really want books to have to make people have an opinion to for make to make students discuss something passionately have analyze a situation and you know come up with something come up with their own mindset come up with their own opinion the learner survey uh, is actually an excellent thing which the people are doing and it's a very good initiative from the Cambridge University Press and the uh, German book office uh, see, as per the, as from the author's point of view, I really think that it's it's going to help them uh, help the students a lot because it is going to give us the connection. What exactly the students want in this present day uh, scenario? Uh, the students want the thing, uh, things to be written in a, in a very different way now. They want colorful books so that uh, they can easily enter and with a lot of pictures. 
so the thing, thing uh, you can relate the things uh, from the day to day life. You also want the things to be written in a very short and uh, in a very crispy way, point wise. Everything is to be written to the point so that they can uh, they're easy to remember them and they're easy to actually read them with their normal usual things. So I wish all the best and I think that this, this service is going to give us a very good result. Page. While I do like to read books with an attractive book cover and books recommended to me by my teachers and my friends. Now I would like the explanation of concepts to be more inter interesting by adding more activities to them like playing online games, getting points out of them and then redeeming them to get to higher levels and that will be fantastic. Our study this year hopefully would be the most comprehensive. Schools, teachers, students, parents, we publishers all will collaborate to create a learning experience that is most impactful. These same set of students that are reading so much also have access to their own devices. This survey is over for the next three months and I think we're going to see some more insights out of it which is going to help us in terms of how exactly these uh, the education solution content can be designed. You are a vital part of this journey. Come join the learning journey with GBO and Cambridge.